Welcome to Beauty Detective guys. In today's video, I'll do a full review of the TicWatch Pro S. I'll go over its different features. I'll tell you what limitation it has, what makes it stand out, and ultimately, if it's worth buying. Plus, I have one extra unit which I'll be giving away to one lucky subscriber, so make sure you watch until the end to know how to participate. Now, before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you to Basma for sponsoring today's video and making it possible for us to give back to our subscribers. So here's a quick clip of what they're all about. Under the cover of darkness, we could sneak up on them. Anyone who wants your cheese won't give up too easily. But this camera is stacked with features. Yep, amazing. with Bozma's EX Pro Outdoor Security Camera, your natural habitat is always protected. Much to the disappointment of any natural predators out there. So again, thank you to Basma. Their security camera is packed with awesome features. And make sure you check their launch campaign on Indiegogo at the link in the video description. Now back to the TicWatch Pro S. The unboxing is straightforward. You get the watch front and center and underneath you'll find the magnetic charging dock as well as some instructions. When first picking up the watch, you'll notice that the materials used are of great quality. The case is actually made mainly of carbon fiber. The pushers and bezels are made of dark stainless steel and the back panel is made of clear stainless steel held in place by four screws. Furthermore, I absolutely love the 22 mm strap. The top is made of genuine Italian leather and the back is made of skin friendly silicone which makes it comfortable to wear while working out. Plus the straps comes with a quick release feature so changing them for different ones is quick and easy and there's even a couple of grooves which keep the free loop in place. Now needless to say that I was actually quite impressed with the materials used which also gives the watch about 10 ounces of weight, helping it feel solid and well put together. Moving on, when it comes to design and fit, the watch is 45 by 12.6 millimeters, so if you have small wrists, it might look large and bulky, but on the other hand, the size allows for a large 1.39 inch AMOLED display, which actually is quite responsive, and the Gorilla Glass 3 on top will keep it scratch free. Furthermore, the large size of the watch means that you get two large pushers, which lets you easily access the different features of the watch. On that subject, the TicWatch Pro S comes packed with useful features like Google Pay, 13 sports modes, a built-in GPS, a heart rate monitor, and sleep monitoring to name but a few. Some other unexpected features include a flashlight mode which can be handy at night, a hand wash timer which starts a 20 second countdown when washing your hands, and there's even an ambient noise feature which lets you know if the noise level is safe or not. There's also a breathing exercise feature that I found particularly useful at lowering my heart rate and keeping me relaxed. Moving on, the standout feature of the TicWatch Pro S is definitely the two screens it comes with. There's a monochrome LCD that shows some basic information and is useful for lowering battery consumption. The second screen is a nice colorful AMOLED display which will drain the battery life in a blink of an eye. As a matter of fact, the battery life was actually quite disappointing. It only lasted for about three days and charging it took a couple of hours. Moving on, as expected from a watch in this price range, it is suitable for swimming so rain or splashes of water will not be an issue. Furthermore, you'll be able to record voice memos or pretend to be James Bond while talking to your watch. Now with that said, I personally enjoy the watch but it certainly doesn't feel as refined as an Apple watch and the Snapdragon Wear 2100 chipset will not blow you away in terms of performance. It also doesn't help that the TicWatch Pro S only comes with 1GB of RAM and 4GB of storage space so paying $260 feels somewhat steep and I'd recommend waiting until you find a good discount. With that said, for those that would like a chance at winning this review unit, all you have to do is like this video, leave a comment and obviously be subscribed to the channel. The winner will be announced in our next video so make sure your bell notification is on. Until then, thank you for watching and Review Detective out.